right, let's turn now to your full forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is here now. And Tony, we talk a lot uh, at four about, you know, the pumpkin spice coming back and all of that. Summer is not over, though, and it certainly feels like summer out there today. Yeah, more like a frozen lemonade day today. Yeah. I mean, temperatures have topped out upper 80s to low 90s. And in some cases, it's still hovering around 90 in some spots. Uh, beautiful down in Newport. It's a shade cooler here, but even along the south shore, uh, warm and humid. Let's take a look at Narragansett Town Beach. Uh, endless summer holding on to summer here. Looks pretty good. You got temperatures here that are still in the 80s with some sunshine. So a great day all around. But boy, really turning a lot cooler starting tomorrow and extending into a Friday. High temperatures today reaching the upper 80s to lower 90s. That includes making it to 92 in Taunton, 90 in Providence, the high today, and even to Bedford in there as well at 91. The humidity is elevated. Now, dew points are in the low 70s, so it feels even warmer. These humidity levels will drop off, but not until later tonight. When you're stepping out the door tomorrow, you'll notice the difference in the air. But right now, most areas are between about 85 to still 90 in Providence to Bedford 91 and Taunton still holding on to 92. But back to autumn next couple of days. Again, we're not talking cold, but it will be cooler. Notice it'll be cooler, less humid and very comfortable both Thursday and Friday. And we're dry the next roughly two to three days. Still going with the next shower chance Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Still feel as though the daylight hours of your Saturday uh, will be dry and very quiet across New England. And we've got a cold front to our north. Uh, hasn't passed through yet. And as it comes through, there's just a very small chance of an isolated shower next several hours, but those chances are pretty low. And for the most part, the remainder of the day will be dry. Now there is cooler air over the border in Canada. You can see that right in there. We've got this orange shading still showing the summertime temperatures down through the Midwest, but cool air dropping down from Canada will work in. So let's take you through the next couple of days, two and a half days, starting off this evening, a cold front moving through this evening and tonight will bring in some dry air during the overnight lower humidity. Here we are tomorrow afternoon. Some sunshine temperatures much cooler, but a nice day. It is comfortable. Very cool tomorrow night. So when you're waking up on Friday morning at 7 a.m. 55 degrees at the bus stop, but comfortable sunshine temperatures recover Friday afternoon into the lower 70s. And again, Saturday looks dry. We've got a cold front off to our west on Saturday morning, but it doesn't come in until Saturday night. So we keep the daylight hours of Saturday dry. We'll bring this front through Saturday night into early on Sunday morning. Hour by hour forecast for tomorrow morning at the bus stop. It is cool and dry and more comfortable at 61. Sunshine 11 a.m. in the upper 60s. And then during the afternoon, very comfortable, not as warm, but still a nice day. Looking at temperatures, low 70s. Beaches look good again for tomorrow. Breezy, dry. I mean, it's cooler, but at least we've got some sunshine and it's a dry day. Seven day forecast, cool, dry, comfortable on Friday. The daytime on Saturday is dry. Scattered showers Saturday night, Sunday morning, drying out Sunday afternoon. Labor Day Monday still looking okay with partly sunny skies.